Russia's vast forests are home to many secrets, including an entire city fenced in and guarded, cut off from the rest of the world. This is Ozersk, also known as City 40. Surrounded by forests and lakes, the city center is home to spacious apartment buildings and bustling business. But it's all right beside a massive nuclear power plant that has turned this secret city into one of the most polluted places in the world. Up until 1991, it was completely erased from maps, and no one was allowed to leave or enter. It remains heavily guarded with signs warning people to stay away, yet it's still home to 100,000 citizens. Let's head inside Ozersk and see what's really hidden within Russia's nuclear city. We're in Russia's Ural Mountains. Behind guarded gates and barbed wire fences sits a mysterious city whose residents were once completely erased from existence. There's a warning sign telling us to stay out. Foreigners and non-resident Russians are prohibited from entering the city without permission from the Russian secret police. Armed guards stand at every gate, and there are visible cameras and hidden audio recorders everywhere. No one gets in or out of Ozersk without the government knowing. During the height of the Cold War, this place was crawling with Soviet secret police. Construction on City 40 began in 1946. The city was built for one purpose, to provide housing for construction workers, scientists, and employees of Mayak plutonium plant. Russia's nuclear dealings were kept under wraps. The city was vanished from maps for decades, and its citizens were told that they were the nuclear shields and saviors of the world. This city is where Soviets completed First Lightning, their first plutonium-based bomb. Though no longer producing atomic bombs, the city still has a reason to exist as the factory produces nuclear components. In 2019, Russia's nuclear weapons budget was about $8.5 billion. Despite being described as a nuclear city, Ozersk has beautiful lakes, flowers, and picturesque tree-lined streets. But while it looks serene and perfect, Geiger counters check foods sold on the side of the roads for radiation. City 40 is one of the most contaminated places on the planet, referred to by some as the graveyard of the earth. You wouldn't know it just from pictures. Government buildings, offices, restaurants, grocery stores, churches, and schools make up this idyllic town. For the city's first eight years, residents were forbidden from leaving or making contact with the outside world. They were considered missing by their loved ones. So why would they stay? City 40 doesn't just look like a decent city to live in, it actually is. It offers its residents luxuries, security, and comfort that would be hard to find elsewhere. They have private apartments, schools, healthcare, and plenty of entertainment. In the 40s and 50s, the citizens even received imported foods like bananas and caviar. There's also no violent crime and no housing crisis, which makes people here feel safe. Right now, the median monthly wage in Russia is 50,000 rubles, which is about $630. The richest 10% of Russians own 87% of the country's wealth, and 66,000 rubles, about $1,000, is the minimum monthly salary needed to live modestly but comfortably. The people of Ozersk, however, don't have to worry about the inequality of the outside world. They have their own community here that provides them with everything they need. This is the city's graveyard, where citizens of the nuclear city from decades past are buried. Now that we've seen the beauty of the hidden city, it's time to have a look at its dark secrets. Let's head to Ozark's radioactive lakes. This is Lake Urchias. It's so heavily contaminated that it's usually called Plutonium Lake. I've also heard that it's been called the Lake of Death. How fun. It has 2.5 times the amount of radiation released in Chernobyl. Over four decades, Mayak is said to have dumped 200 million curies of radioactive waste into Ozark's environment, about four times as much as Chernobyl. This is Lake Karachay. Or at least it used to be a lake. It's the most polluted place on the entire planet. Just standing on its shores for an hour would expose you to fatal radiation levels. At its peak, those levels were 100 times those released during the Chernobyl disaster. But a drought in 1967 lowered Lake Urachay's water level, exposing the toxic sediment. Winds scattered the newly formed radioactive dust around the area, contaminating a 900-mile radius. The government solution was to bury it all under the cement. 10,000 hollow concrete blocks were placed in the lake, then sealed and waterproofed. Genius? I don't know. Shrewd? Maybe. This was much cheaper than a full cleanup. Trying to clean up after Chernobyl cost $86 billion when adjusted for inflation. Here's our last stop. 
The cause of all this radiation and the city's entire reason for existing, this is the Mayak Production Association, the first and largest nuclear facility in the Soviet Union. It covers an area of about 200 kilometers and is also the site of the third largest nuclear disaster in history. The Kishtim disaster occurred on September 29, 1957, when one of the cooling systems in Mayak failed and a tank exploded. Nearby farmers said the sky turned purple and a massive plume of toxic smoke blocked out the sky. Today, about 14,000 workers are still working at Mayak, mainly producing radioactive substances. Mayak also hosts Russia's only nuclear reprocessing and waste treatment facility. Although nuclear contamination in the surrounding areas has decreased, the region around Mayak is still considered one of the most radioactive polluted places on Earth. Ozersk is also home to the vast majority of the Russian nuclear stockpile. How exciting! It's estimated to be made up of about 6,400 nuclear warheads, even if we estimate the cost of construction for each as near the lower end of the average, $20 million, Russia's stockpile could be worth at least $128 billion. While City 40 isn't a secret any longer, it still keeps Russia's nuclear power under tight security and remains one of the most mysterious cities and creepy in the entire world. Russia is still working on Mayak today, despite the radioactive danger. The government is building a complex for the management of used nuclear fuel on site at a cost of $34 million. Despite nuclear activity continuing in Mayak, most residents don't plan on ever leaving.